Hello guys, this is Virendra Singh and welcome back at Mastercam Mill 3D Tutorials and Toolbar. Mastercam in this video we studied about Mastercam Mill 3D different type of tool paths and in this project you will create roughing, rest roughing, finishing, semi finishing and then the final finishing. In this video we will discuss about different type of operations like as a area roughing, area rest roughing and how we choose and how we create a stock model also after creating of the roughing operation we will also discuss about that how we can create the finishing operations like as a waterline rest waterline tool paths then we will discuss about and study it about what the detailed study about the horizontal tool paths raster tool path as well as the rust raster tool path so in this video we discuss about the various different type of tool paths and different type of tricks and trips so in this video we will create that one entire parts that how we can create in a master cam in easily so let me start so before we creating that is part so let me show you that that is one is our part and you can check that one part properly that how that one is created so in this video you will learn about that how you can create the complete that one profile in a master cam if you want to download that over training material so for that you have to join our master cam channel so you can access about access over all training material which we share in our master cam training videos so let me start with that one project so first let me delete all these tool paths that i have created in this component so for deleting all these tool paths i just click on delete all operations group and tools and i say yes now as you can see here that one is over my as you can see here that one is my profile that currently show at the screen so first let me show it going at the toolpath manager click on a properties and first I make stock setup so for creating a stock setup I click on all entities so as you can see here that one is Y that one is X and that one is Z so I just increase the Z value is a little more than as currently as so here so I just say ok so as you can see here this is my component that is that there is one dash line so that is the stock model for my that one part so next option that I have to create that stock model that so that time we can create our tool path smoothly so for creating a first thing for the stock model I just go for a stock model and first I have to return the name of stock model if you don't write here the name of stock model so you cannot create that one operation so first I just say stock model and now I have to go in a color I can change my stock metal color stock color as per my requirement and I just say that stock setup is now I have to create as my stock model so as you can see here I just created a stock model as per my requirement now again I have to go in a area roughing operation I just have to press an area roughing when I just press on area roughing operation so that time there is a one interface is open here and first thing that I have to select the entire model so I just selected the entire model as I want to machine and the next one step that is to what is the wall stock and what is the floor stock so we have to remaining the wall stock and floor stock is 0.2 it means that the doso micron we will remaining after the roughing operation now the next one thing is the tool path control at here tool path control I have to input what is the tool percentage tool diameter percentage I just input 150 diameter from the what the tool we are chosen and the strategy I just always choosing when we are going to roughing that kind of part I have to choose that from outside it means that each time when the tool is starting to plunge so that time the tool will be going to plunge from the outside of the profile area then the next page is my tool selection page I just go for a tool and I select a new ball nose tool and the what is the ball nose size that ball nose diameter is 20 mm and what is the corner radius it's 2 mm radius now I have to go in a stock setup I have to select the rest, rest material and I have to select the operation which I want to machining and I just say stock model the operation that I have to linking that is I linking that one operation that is stock model that we created previously now at here adjust to remain remaining stock I have to choose ignore small cops and I have to input what is the 
the value that the distance we have already always chosen as what is the stock value that we remaining after the roughing operation that is one is two point two after that what is the tolerance value for that one part point zero two five and the zero point zero five that one is the additional value that we added so that distance we always chosen like that the first thing that is the wall and floor stock then second thing that the what is the tolerance value for that one program operations and then the third one value is extra value that we are added for that one is 50 micron additional so that is 0 0.2 plus 0 0.0 2 plus 0.05 and I say ok so as you can see here my toolpath is created but as you can see here there are lot of blinkings are available here so let me make few of modifications so at here I just completed at that here stock setup and now the next one step that I have to go in a cutting parameter at the cutting parameter I have to input what is the desktop cut for that operation percentage of tool diameter 100 what is the xy step over transitions I have to choose what how the end tool will be enter and now a step and cello and then finally at a linking parameter minimum vertical retract and the here what is the feed rate when that that time what is the feed rate when tool is going to do that the minimum vertical retract if we choose always the minimum vertical retract make sure that you have to choose output feed rate and now press ok and regenerate so as you can see here my toolpath is again created for the roughing operation so as you can see here now the next one operation I have to create it that is my rest roughing operation so I have to copy both of these operation and paste again I have to go in a stock model so automatically that is in mastercam 2021 automatically the name is going to be created for the if we copy and paste now what we have to choose we have to choose the color if we want to change now we have to select on a stock model source of operation is that and I have to select ok and regenerate now we have to do rest roughing operation so for creating a rest roughing operation I have to go in parameters model geometry same tool geometry tool path geometry same what the changes I have to do that is I have to choose the different tool so for creating so for choosing that different tool I have to choose end mill 10 and that corner radius is 2.0 we have to choose feed a spindle speed as per requirement and then the next one step that I have to choose the stock model for my that one operation so as you can see here that is the stock remaining after the roughing operation and for that one operation I have to choose the stock is that one the third operation and I so for the next one step I have to go in a cutting parameter what is the desktop cut for creating that one operation and now all the remaining operation will be same like as a roughing operation and now I have to press for a regenerate that one operation so as you can see here I just creating the regenerating that one operation so mastercam will remove the remain remaining material from the all surfaces for my model now I have to create the finishing operation so before creating a finishing operation I have to re rename my toolpath group that is my rough and for a finishing I have to create a new toolpath group for that one I have to go in a group new toolpath group and I have to now go click here and F2 so I can remaining my new toolpath group is like as a finish so now the next one step that I have to do my finishing operation so for creating my finishing operations I have to choose that one stock model as well as operation copy and paste and now the next one step I have to choose the stock model stock model for my rough finishing operation so I have to choose my color is new color stock model that the previous stock model that we are created and the source of op operation that is the previous operation that we created now I have to press ok and regenerating that one toolpath so as you can see here my stock model is going to be regenerated and the next one operation that we have to perform that is the rough finishing operation so for, for the finishing operation first operation that I am going to choose and I have to run that is my waterline toolpath so I have to choose my waterline operation now the next one is step what is the wall and the floor that you want to remain in the stock and now the next one is step the toolpath control 
the percentage of tool diameter I have to choose as a zero and now the next one step is that I have to choose a tool for the creating of the finishing operation I have to choose the 10 mm of ball nose and there is a no stop model I have to choose here in the cutting parameter I have to choose 0.3 percent of tool diameter is always 100 percent of tool diameter transitions is always straight steep and shallow I have to choose nothing and linking parameter and I have to say okay and regenerate that one with my waterline toolpath so as you can see here my waterline toolpath is done but as you if you see here that that my mask waterline toolpath is going to be created properly but it is created at here as well as here that at top face and that is also available at the here so we don't want our master cam toolpath at that one place as well as that one place so for that I have to go in a parameter at steep shallow waterline toolpath is always very good and suitable for the angle between 30 degree to 90 degree and at here steep and shallow I have to choose the maximum limit depth for that I have to click right click Z coordinate and I have to create a coordinate for at here if I choose that one coordinate so this is still that time there will be a small metal will be small tool path will be created at here so I have to go press 0 0.01 and say ok and regenerate so I have to change the specific value and as you can see here my waterline tool path is going to be created at the proper length so as you can see here that one the corner radius is lesser than the my tool rate diameter so I have to choose my one more tool path and that tool path is going to be that one tool path will be for the finishing operation sorry rest finishing operation of my waterline tool path so let me create it, the copy and the paste my waterline tool path I have to go in a parameters I have to choose waterline tool path model geometry will be same all the things will be same I have to choose that the tool will be I have to choose that tool tool radius will be the 5 mm of tool diameter and the corner radius will be 2.5 and the next one is step for creating water line rest the operation is that I have to create for the stock and now I have to say the trim to stock and I have to choose that what is the radius value we have to choosing my rest finishing operations through the previous tool so I have to choose roughing tool I have to input here what is the diameter of my tool and what is the corner radius of my tool that is 5.0 and I, now I have to say ok and regenerating my that operation so as you can see here my tool is only running on that one the place where I have to require to be running so now again I have to go in a cutting parameter at cutting parameter the step down value is less, more than the tool exact required value so I have to choose that one value and percentage of tool diameter is always we chosen as a hundred percent of tool diameter now I regenerating my that one operation now again I have to create that my tool next tool path is horizontal tool path so for that I have to say tool path type is as a horizontal model geometry model geometry will be same tool path control will be same for the creating of the horizontal tool path I have to choose a flat end mill tool path tool so I have to go at here and I choose a flat end mill that the tool diameter is 10 mm at stock I removing cutting parameter what number of depth I choose one percentage of tool diameter step over xy step over is 40 percent of tool diameter percentage of tool diameter is always 100 and now I have to say motion that is off transitions motion steep and shallow and linking parameter and I say ok so as you can see here I have to regenerate that one my tool path so as you can see here I have to create tool path as all the places as required so as you can see here I created the tool path but it is not created at the bottom place so for that I have to go at here and unmark this and I say again regeneration so as you can see here that my finishing tool path is created at the flat portion as well as this face as well as the inside that one face so now the next one operation that I have to choose on for that one creating for that one upper portion as well as as I have to create it at the flat portion so for that I again copy and paste that one tool path and for this 
I have to choose that operation that is my raster operation. Now I have to go for a model geometry, tool path control and the tool at the tool I have to choose the 10 mm of ball nose. At the stock I have to say nothing. Cutting parameter what is the step over value is 0.3 and the machining angle is always we chosen for the raster tool path is the automatic. It is available from the master game 2021. At your transitions, smooth, steep and shallow and the, all these parameters I have to input. At the steep and shallow, I have to choose the angle is 0 degree to the 30 degree or if we make overlap, so I have to choose 32 degree and I have to say OK and regenerating that one toolpath. So as you can see here, I have to create the toolpath for the specific place where I have to create. So my toolpath will be created at that one portion as well as that the flat portion because the angle between the angle of surfacing that I have to choose that 0 degree to 30 degree. So as you can see here at the, this is my raster toolpath but that is not looking properly so I again I have to go in a parameters. At the parameter first I have to cho choose the cutting parameter. At cutting parameter for a raster toolpath we mostly trying to use in a zigzag motion and the next one is step at a step and shallow angle I have to choose 0 0.01 to 32 degree so that time what will be happen the tool will not cutting any kind of flat portion so as you can see here that is the tool path that I have to create it and again I have to choose that the maximum depth so that case the tool will be not going to be entered at that one place so as you can see here I have to create that tool is properly cutting but it is not cutting the place at is this is that one area because the tool is very near to that one surface so if tool is going to for cutting that one portion so that time it is chances for that tool will be collide with this surface so again I have to create a raster rest raster operation so for that again I have to go in a parameter I have to choose that the tool size will be 5 and the corner radius 2.5 stock what is a previous tool diameter as well as corner radius what is overlap cutting parameter step over is 0.15 automatic percentage of tool diameter is always chosen as 100 and all the remaining parameters will be same like as a raster tool path. So as you can see here I have to create the tool that is created at that one portion as that one portion at that one portion and that one portion so I have to say select all operations and make a 3d simulation so as you can see here this is our master cam mill 3d that when the part we are created in front of you and now I have to run the master cam mill 3d that simulation for that one component so the first operation that you can see that is my roughing operation with the tool of 20 r2 and the next one operation that I have to run that is the rest roughing operation with the help of 10 R2 tool. So it remove all the unnecessary metal that it can be. And the next one operation that I have to create it that is a waterline tool path. But what is happening in waterline tool path that waterline tool path is not able to go at that one corner portion. So for that one purpose we are creating a rest waterline tool path and I say run again. So as you can see here that my waterline toolpath is created and I make removing the maximum material that can be removed from that one portion. If we require that that portion that the area should be I have required that is my properly flat portion. So that time you can create it a contour toolpath outside of this one area. And now again I have to choose the flat portion. So as you can see here I, when I choose a flat toolpath so what is happening this is removing all the unnecessary material that can be removed from this one part and now that I have to choose the raster tool path. So raster tool path is created the properly top profile as well as the side area all the flat portion. Now again I have to play that one portion. So it is removing that one portion as well as that one portion. So thank you very much be connected and updated for the more videos. Thank you. If you have a video, please